Hi guys, so behind me are Idi Amin's torture chambers which are located at the Kabaka's palace. Um, you might be wondering how Amin's chambers come to be at the palace but when when the King Mutesa was overthrown and he was in exile, Amin and Obote overtook his palace and they decided to turn his palace into a chamber for people whom they hated. Now this place was supposed to be an armory because it was built by Israelites to keep his guns and all that stuff but he was kind of a psycho so he just turned this place into a place for killing and torturing and murdering people and it is say that over 19,000 men were killed here apparently women were not killed, they were killed in a separate place so imagine 19,000 men without counting women it's really a sad I mean this place has bad memories but don't worry we've been told there are no evil spirits here you might think some horror stuff might happen maybe like of someone who was tortured here and they attack us no it is say the place was cleansed and there are no evil spirits here so let's just check it out in 1971 Idi Amin hired Israelis hmm. to build him an armory hmm. where he would keep his fighting weapons and this is what they built they don't use it for eight months that's when he had 